Good morning. This is my lumbar support matcha. Ugh. Hi, hello, and welcome to the channel and or welcome back to the channel. Today we are gonna we're gonna vlog, baby. We're gonna do some productive ass. Sorry, that was like a lot of swearing. I feel like I haven't like talked to anyone in the past two to three days. I've been in absolute comatose. We're about two to three days post Christmas. And I don't know, it's something about the holiday cheer and of course the eating, but like, I feel like it's definitely like the buildup to the excitement of like actual Christmas that really just burns me out every single year. I'm just, I'm sleeping like 12 to 13 hours a day for a couple days post Christmas. And I feel like that's a good thing for me. You know, I usually don't sleep that much. I also don't like rest very much. Given the way that I work, I'm really glad that I gave myself some time off. I even closed the shop for a little bit, but we are back, baby. The shop is back open. We have a bunch of orders to pack. We have to prepare for the new year. I think that's really what we're gonna do today is we're gonna prepare, we're gonna reset, and we're gonna get ourselves on the right foot for the new year. So I actually already posted my 2024 bullet journal planned with me. It's just like the setting up the bullet journal. And I also did a little bit of goal planning in there. And I also posted my Q1 bullet journal setup as well. So January, February, March, I set up for those months already. And yeah, I'm feeling very good about the setups, but now it's time to fill in the blanks and really get down to the nitty gritty. So I want to plan out my calendar and also my goals and how to hit those goals for the quarter and then break it down for every month and put it onto my big calendar. So I have a big calendar right over there. I'll show you guys in just a sec. And it goes along with my digital calendar. I use Google Calendar for all of my events, for all of my posting schedules. I only have one posting schedule, so I don't know why I said as if I have multiple. But I like having a large visual representation of it because then I can really do some real planning. So like if I have a video due next week, then I know I have to film it at least the week before. And if it's like something more intensive, like I'm going to be doing a like a shop facelift video series coming up soon. And I haven't started filming that yet, which is very, very bad. So like with a video like that, I would have to already made some of the materials that will be going into that video at least a week before that. And if it requires manufacturing, then it's like a week, two weeks before that. Oh, wow. I am very, very far behind on that. So we have to get started with this. And I can figure out like what I need. And after that, I think we're going to definitely pack orders because I have about 50 orders to pack ever since I opened my shop a couple of days ago. And I really, really want to clean up this space. Like it is really gross in this room right now. And also maybe upgrade a few things because a big part of what I want to do right now and why I'm trying to put so much emphasis on like preparing for the new year is I want my business and my year to run on essentially like a flywheel. Like if I, the idea is that if I put in a lot of effort right now and if I build the right systems, then eventually over time, instead of using like max effort to like push this wheel for it to go, I'll only have to like just tap it with a finger and then it'll produce more and more efficiently. That is what we're going for. So we have to really get started now, which sounds a little scary at the moment, but I'm actually very excited because I really been wanting to do this. I've been really wanting to get down to the nitty gritty and know what I am doing. And maybe we'll do some drawing. Let's have a well-rounded video, but that might be ambitious. We'll see, we'll see how it goes. Anyway, but let's, let, let, let's start with planning first. <laughs> And then we shall get to the fun stuff. Planning, packing, cutting stickers, cleaning shop, upgrading shop, and maybe drawing. I don't know about all that, but we're gonna try. Okay, okay, that's enough talking for now. Let's get into the bullet journal. Mm, all right, let us pull up the Google Calendar. Okay, here we are in a corner of the room that you guys never get to see where my big calendar exists that I absolutely love. And we are never over here because this closet door is a mirror, which I actually really love because I never have to like 
have a mirror. It just like comes with the closet. But the thing is that like I am very okay with the way I am perceived this way. This is the way that I know me. But you can look into the reflection and see how the back of me looks. I don't know. In my mind, there is no back of me. There is it's in perceivable. <laughs> if I curl my hair and the back of it is a complete mess and it's not curled and I have strands missing that are completely straight, that just doesn't exist. The back of me doesn't exist. Imperceivable. But with this here, it is very perceivable. <laughs> Anywho, I have my little whiteboard markers here. Oh, what is this? This is why we need to clean my room because this is just trash everywhere. So we're gonna use these whiteboard markers and we're gonna plan into our quarter a little bit more in detail. So I have the quarterly goals here and they're all broken down. And I'm gonna pull out my big Google calendar. Holy moly. Uh, it has like a lot of stuff on it. I didn't realize how much stuff it has on my calendar and a little, a little intimidating. So I'm just gonna organize the colors into different categories. So red is going to be, hmm, all the colors are gonna be like big things that happen. These are gonna be all like the little planning things that go along with it. So this is gonna be conventions. This will be shop drops and this will be YouTube videos. And I think that's it. I think we said shop drop is gonna be green and conventions are gonna be red. So my shop drop is gonna be, oh, you know what's important? Putting the date on all of these little boxes. <laughs> so we're gonna do that first. Okie dokie, we have all the notes. So now time to fill in the drops. So 19th is, no. Oh, dude, right when I said what these colors all mean, Ay, ay, ay. I'll make myself a little key over here so I remember what these all mean. Shop, con, then what? What is that? What else do I do? Oh, YouTube. Jesus Louises. Okay, so this is what it's looking like. So as you can see, the conventions really start ramping up in February and March. And March right now looks kind of empty because we haven't planned for April and May yet. And as April and May populate, like as we get closer here and I start planning for the next quarter, then this is gonna populate. But this is looking real crazy. This is also looking kind of suspect. It makes me feel better, but it also makes me kind of nervous. There's something very comforting knowing exactly where your anxiety is gonna come from. And that's what this is for me. Rather than it sneaking up on me, I can plan my panic attack. <laughs> So in these empty columns, I'm just gonna write down some of like the really big goals, just like keep it in mind when I look at this calendar every day. And uh, yeah, I was gonna start cleaning the room, but I think what I'm gonna do now because my sticker sheets are done printing is we're gonna do some sticker cutting. And then once that makes a mess, then we will do a deep clean of this room because it desperately needs it. <laughs> and you know, actually while we're at it, after we cut stickers, we're probably gonna pack orders as well. So we're gonna do some of that shop stuff and then, and then we will clean, take inventory of what is going on in this room and how I can improve it and probably online shop. That's gonna be my favorite part, buying stuff to upgrade this room and make my life a little easier. <laughs> all right, these are what we're cutting for today. Look how freaking cute. I know I say that about all my sticker sheets because you know, they're my babies, but I just think that these are so cute and so fresh to look at. These are the March bullet journal sticker sheets that I just did in my plan with me. And I just feel like my shop doesn't have a ton of these types of sticker sheets. Like I am very proud of the sticker sheet themes that I come up with. I feel like they're a great creative outlet for me and I have a lot of fun with them, but I just don't have as many, I don't know, like staples and basics that a lot of other shops have that I would like to have. But before I would just always be like, I don't wanna do like a plant theme or just like a flower theme because too basic is not creative enough. But I realized that you can actually make them super creative and really fun and still super cute. And I don't know, I'm kind of finished with the whole like must be the most creative person ever. Like I'm not even close. So I, I give up. I, not that I give up, but I am just gonna have fun with it. So these houseplant sticker sheets are 
one of my favorites right now and uh we're gonna cut them up i still have some stickers printing in the background actually because one of my printers is jamming a lot which is kind of annoying i might have to go take that back in and get a warranty for it if you buy a printer by the way go buy them at best buy and buy the warranty it's like a four year warranty it's an extra 60 bucks but printers especially if you use them as much as i do break down all the time and it's a free replacement which is just so lovely but yeah sorry i feel like i've been talking so much this video no more talking we're gonna get this done before the sun goes down which it goes down so early nowadays Oh, it is literally so dark right now, but it's only 2 p.m. So I haven't wasted that much time. I am still cutting stickers. I think I only have like one pile left, which is not bad at all. But what I realized is that one of my goals this year is to hire help for my shop. Like, I just want to be able to delegate things that I don't necessarily have to do. Like, I love packing orders, but I don't need to package all the orders, you know? I can package some of the orders, or I don't need to cut the stickers. I really don't need to do that. Or prepare the thank you cards, or just other random shit like that in my shop. So I'm really looking for that help this year. And I realized that the way that I organize my sticker sheets is not conducive to, like, getting help <laughs> they are very much organized to just like what i know my sticker sheets as so i have this thing that everyone always asks for and i'll link it in the description box below everything in my videos are always linked down there so if you guys ever want anything check down there but it's like this like a filing cabinet but a mini version and it fits my sticker sheets perfectly my sticker sheets are 4.25 by 6.5 inches and these guys are made for five by seven like postcards i think and it's like literally just a perfect size. I love that it has the lid to protect it from dust and technically they're stackable, but I don't want to stack them because I always have to access them. And yeah, so what I already have here is I have like the little divider and they're labeled at the top. Like this one's the milk theme, but I'm realizing that if I have someone help my shop, they shouldn't be forced to memorize the name of every single item. And yeah, we do print out the, um, oh God, I just mixed a bunch of my stickers together by pulling this thing out. I print out the packing slips when it comes to like packing up all the orders so I can see what to pick up, but it has the name on it and it has like a tiny little picture of the item. And I don't know, that just seems like a disaster. So I renamed all of my items to have like a little like code with it like a1 a2 d2 so that i can reorganize all of these guys they're gonna be in alphabetical and numerical order so that it'd be super fast to pack and like not only that but just like where they're located because right now i memorize every single sticker sheet and which sticker sheet is in which box there is no organization it's just the labels so yeah we're gonna relabel reorganize all of these guys while the crickets are doing their thing <laughs>
너란 바람에 흩날리는 아 사랑인가 봐 이제 말해요 그대 곁에 있을 사람 내가 되어줄게요 말라 달리란 마음만으로 부족할 수도 있지만 떠나가면 안 돼. 떠나가 Hello, it is just straight up night time now <laughs> I just finished cleaning the entire room. I vacuumed, I mopped, I wiped everything down, I dusted. Feels clean. I put everything away that needs to be away, threw away stuff that I didn't need. I have like a lot of clutter in here that I really just don't need. I mean, I have like a lot of toys too, which is like necessary. Like look how cute. It just, it adds so much to the space. Also, I have a lot of just random stuff that can be thrown away. <laughs> Honestly, I feel pretty decent about today. I feel like we got a lot done. We planned, we cleaned, we organized, cut a bunch of stickers. And now I'm just going to, I was going to prepare all of the orders for tomorrow to pack because I just don't feel like doing it today. Honestly, this might be TMI, but I just got my period and I'm feeling really disgusting. It's always those days where you're like, I'm gonna do so much today. I'm gonna be so productive. I'm gonna reset my life. And, and then you get your period. And then it's, it's just all over. Like I feel, uh, I just don't feel great. After prepping orders tonight, I will probably just do some online shopping and try to order some stuff for the studio. Like, I definitely want to replace these when I was organizing and cleaning everything up. And I went through my little supply cart and I was looking at these and I just, I hate these. These cut like max three sticker sheets or like two thank you cards at a time. And when I'm doing like thousands in a day, this is just such a waste of time. So I got like a heavy duty, not industrial. It might be industrial, but like a heavy duty corner cutter that I can just do a bunch at a time. I wanna buy a bunch of other things like that around the studio. Like I wanna cut down on time doing stupid stuff and like buy things that make my process easier. Like I was talking about with the flywheel earlier. So I also am going to buy a washi tape dispenser because you guys suggested that I get one of those. Yes, it is really dumb that I just hold every washi tape and like rip it with my hands. It probably would go a lot faster if I had a nice little dispenser. So I'm buying one of those. And um, I don't know, I'm gonna just browse on Amazon, just shop my little heart away because that's what you do when you're in the period. You eat and then you shop and you buy whatever you want. Yeah, all right, well, see you guys in a little bit. <laughs> I just got this package and it's one of the things that I ordered from last night Which is kind of insane that I got here, but it said free overnight shipping So probably some weird ethics going on around that, but uh, that's a topic for another day I just like bought a bunch of stuff to like upgrade my place a little bit including what I think this is Which is Oh man, the box is in a box <laughs> Oh, yes it is Yes it is I got this huge ass water bottle. And this water bottle is only ever gonna live at my desk right there on the little turntable I have here for all my drinks. Like, look how ginormous this is. It is an 84 ounce water bottle and I just wanted to kind of go overkill with this bottle because I have a habit of just like, when I am in hyper fixation mode, I am there. I, there is no getting me out of it and I will starve and I'll dehydrate and I'll, I'll die at my desk because I just like forget, I get into the zone, I get in the flow. Uh, I forget that my body is in need of things. <laughs> and, and so having like a normal size water bottle or just like a cup of water right here for me to go back and forth to refill is not working out for me because I just won't refill it. So I just got this giant water bottle here to have my water for the day and just like have it there and I can sip on it all day. Also the key is for me is to have a straw. 
I know that some people don't like having a straw in their water bottle because it means you have to clean it and it's a little bit more annoying. My sister really doesn't like water bottles with straws, but I love it. It just makes drinking water so much easier. I'm all about the easy. If it's not easy and if it's not in front of my face, I just won't do it. Ooh, it comes with like a little, little sponge thingy. That's nice. But yeah, we're gonna be so hydrated next year. I think the washi tape dispenser and corner cutter are also going to come in soon. And I am going to be going through these drawers and these drawers to try to optimize and I don't know, get rid of stuff I don't need. But while we're waiting for all that stuff to come in, I am going to start packing orders, which I have over there that you guys are sitting on. And yeah, that is what we're going to do. <laughs> I'm so excited about this. Actually, I'm gonna go wash this and get it myself a cup of tea before we get started with the order packing. The faster I go, the better the corner is. So this was the first corner I cut. I didn't align all of them that great. So these corners back here are kind of angular, but after the fourth cut, look how nice these corners are. Love this thing. It's a little messy. Okay, I think I'm in love with this thing. It took like 10 to 15 seconds to cut this many. Meanwhile, it would take me like 3 million years to do it with this because it could only do like two at a time. But what was nice about this is that all of the garbage would just fall right here. So I just do it over a trash can. But with this one, it kind of sprays everywhere. But honestly, it's totally fine for how fast I did this for. I don't care that it does this. I am totally fine cleaning up. Anyway, I only have, I just need to do these guys and then we can start packing. new sticker sheets look how cute i'm so proud of this one like look at his cute little butt obsessed i actually might turn this into a larger print just because i love the idea of them being on a train and just like looking at the views
good morning Ugh. yes i always have headphones on and it's because my computer does not have speakers and the audio just comes out of the monitors and it's horrendous and also i always have the crickets going on in the back so when that's happening it's absolute death so i definitely need these guys all right so last night i was able to pack up all these orders we have about 60 orders here which is a super dope and I'm gonna head over to the post office to drop them off. And also, what else did I do? Oh, I finished my little water bottle thing. So my theory was correct. If I have this filled next to me, I drink all of it. And it turns out that I have been like very thirsty and dehydrated for a really long time. Cause, cause um, I don't know, I thought it'd be really hard to drink that much water. And it turns out I was, I was fiending for it the entire time. But yeah, this morning I actually got a lot done. I was filming a ton of reels, so I filmed I think three or four reels, which is pretty impressive for me, given that it usually takes me like 30 minutes to sometimes even an hour to like film and edit all these reels. And I figured out that when I do them one at a time, it takes like 30 minutes to an hour. But if I do one immediately after, the time that it takes to do that one is like halved. I can do it in like 15 to 30. And then from there on, I can do it even faster. So I found out that once I have this setup done and I'm like in the mind space, I'm super fast. So I've gone into batching content, which I don't know, feels very weird and very like, I'm a content creator, but um, I mean, as an artist, you like, you gotta be, you are the marketing team. <laughs> so yeah, I'm very happy about that. Very happy about my clean space and all the stuff that I have coming into the mail. I'm super hyped about that. Lots of things to be excited for for the new year. So I'm gonna head over to the post office and then after that, I'm gonna go to a coffee shop because I wanna get some work done and I feel like I've been holed up in this office for a few days now. So it's time for me to like see the outside world <laughs> and breathe some fresh air, quite frankly. And because of that, I'm like wearing semi-real clothes today. Hold on, let's do a little outfit check. Okay, I actually have no idea how people fit like their entire outfit into a screen like this without, I don't know, a mirror, but I don't wanna go into the mirror and show my outfit because then you guys see directly at my window and I, for the most part, I trust you guys, but I, mean, I don't know, I don't know. Sometimes weirdos come across these videos and I don't want people knowing where I live. Anyway, now that I think about it, this is like not really an outfit. <laughs> it's just that I'm wearing pants and a real shirt. I'm not wearing sweatpants and a sweatshirt, <laughs> but these pants, are super comfortable they might as well be sweatpants they're from a random brand on asos this shirt is from brandy melville and i can only fit brandy melville on the top because i got small boobies and the rest of me is normal sized so and then i'm just gonna throw this cardigan on because it's like really cold outside and it's a little drizzly and you might think maybe you should put on a raincoat if it's a little drizzly but no <laughs> i'm gonna put on a cardigan and kind of just walk into the mist and i'm thinking this is gonna kind of look like like gothic coastal grandma vibes, dark version. <laughs> Am I particularly happy with the way I look? Mm, I mean, I feel like I look okay. It is presentable to the public. This next year, I did want to like focus on like defining my style and like redoing my wardrobe so that, I don't know, I like every piece and all the pieces go together. And just like, I don't know, do a bunch of shopping this year so that the rest of my life, I don't do that much shopping. But yeah, that is such a tangent. Time, time to go, time to go. Time to stop talking and get productive. Look how horrific my sketches are. <laughs> They're so freaking messy. I'm not trying to be like, oh, give me compliments, give me compliments. It's just that I don't really have the ability to like see everything perfectly clear when I start drawing. I start seeing things right when I start drawing. So that's why there are so many lines to make everything because the idea just doesn't form until pen is to paper. This is to map. This is to match, hold on, I think I mentioned it earlier, hold on. Oh, these are all the drafts I wanna work on. Like this one I'm actually super excited about. I think it's so cute and look at his little booty. And of course it's Fizzle that didn't make the ride, but it is for, hold on, I'm so bad at organizing this. This one, 
Here we go. I want to make this into a print. I think this idea is so cute. So I'm just going to throw in the rest of the sprouts as well. Like I want to throw in this little guy falling asleep while reading. I think that's so freaking cute. Is it like weird to like compliment myself when it comes to my art? I have no idea. But I don't know. Going into 2024, I want to be a confident gal. Confident in my abilities. So yeah, where did my piece go? Anyway, we are going to work on this guy today. Very exciting. outlined and now I just got to pick out the colors and I don't know if I want to make it like the break of dawn or like day or like a nap in the middle of the day or just like straight up nighttime so that is going to be something to think about I also have no idea how to paint nighttime so that will yeah that will be a challenge all right I am now on my way back to my car to head home and it is so freaking sunny now even though we started the day off so so rainy so I so I'm really wishing I brought my sunglasses at this point. And I think I'm gonna end the vlog here because there's probably a million minutes of footage for my editor to edit at this point. So sorry about that, Mark. And yeah, it's been a very productive vlog on my side. I hope it comes out that way on your side. <laughs> and I'm just like so pumped to go into 2024. So tomorrow is gonna be New Year's Eve and I'm gonna be doing a vision board party with my gal pals. I'm very, very pumped for this new year. I have so many setting goals and I don't know, I just finally feel like I really know what I want to do. So that's very exciting. Anyway, I'll see you guys later. If you guys want to check out any of my other stuff, check out the description box below. And that's about it. <laughs> okay, bye.